And then I like walking, so I walk. A lot. Thanks to saving and smart budgeting, Janet Isaac is enjoying her retirement at West Hartford Fellowship Housing. I'm, you know, I'm holding my own. Hi, Dean. Marcella Bezeski is too, but she lives and works there. I work helping seniors with, you know, grocery shopping, taking them to doctor's appointments, those type of things. And while she chooses to work, she knows other seniors have no choice. They're doing it because they have to do it. Both women say they're lucky they found affordable senior housing before it became both less affordable and less available. It was definitely a blessing because, you know, it, it, it is hard, um, even for regular people, to find housing. With the cost of the rent and utilities, uh, cable, we're lucky here that it's included in our rent. Maureen McIntyre is the CEO of the North Central Area Agency on Aging. She says a lot of seniors would prefer to grow older at home. Every survey that we see, people are saying we want to age in place in the community. But over time, rising costs and decreasing mobility make that even harder. And it was already hard. And they're beginning to, you know, cut back on their medications or beginning to ration food. It costs money. Connecticut's expenses day. So the next stop for many is downsizing to more affordable living if you can find it. Doris Latori is the CEO of Building Neighborhoods Together, a group that has built 250 affordable units in Bridgeport this year already. Quite a feat considering the pushback she said they sometimes received. They just get scared that they, you know, that the prices are going to go down on their properties. I mean, are you really going to be threatened by the 75 year old grandma? that's going to be living in that affordable apartment because that's who's going to be living there. So as you can see, there are plenty of problems that need fixing. Thankfully, there's plenty of organizations working to help, like the North Central Area Agency on Aging. They'll be happy to work with you or connect you with another group to help. The first step is getting the phone to ring. And if you don't know whom to call, call 211. You told them what your issue is. They assign someone to you who's just going to be able to look at everything and say, okay, this is the programs that are available. There are programs to help seniors age in place, like My Home CT. You can get up to $50,000 to bring you current and your mortgage and get monthly help for a limited amount of time. And a lot of people don't know that. And this is free money. She said the energy assistance program can help pay utilities. Other programs can help pay municipal taxes or even help fix a roof, but they vary by area. So every municipality has something different and that's why I encourage people to go to 1-1. And then there are town services like senior centers. West Hartford Town Hall, they have a social services department and they can inform anyone if they're eligible for SNAP to get assistance with food. But it's also important for seniors to make a budget and not waste resources. Sometimes it's a strategic use of home care services. You know, perhaps they're paying out of pocket for things that actually could be covered. For Janet, that meant not keeping a car. And that was a significant savings. You know, um, so therefore I can use that extra money toward bills, toward, you know, other little things. But for seniors who do need transportation, there is Dial-A-Ride and local volunteers like Marcella. Keep that hope alive. There is help out there. There are people out there willing to, to help. Just l let it be known sometimes. I'm Tim Lammers, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.